Welcome Tech Brothers Dhamma. In this video, we are going to learn about Microsoft Fabric Warehouse. Um, we'll be covering uh, what is Warehouse in Microsoft Fabric, uh, what are the key differences between Warehouse and Lake House, uh, when to choose Warehouse uh, over Lake House. Uh, so first of all, uh, let me take you to the workspaces here and uh, these are two of the workspaces I have. I'll click of uh, one of the workspace sales uh, and uh, then uh, you're going to see new items here. Once I click on the new item, uh, and uh, scroll down uh, i'm gonna see some uh, store data so here under the store data we are seeing a lake house uh, that we have already created and we have saved our files in the files uh, uh, tab and we have uh, created the delta tables in the tables tab uh, and uh, i have done a lot of demos on that in the previous videos uh, now we are gonna go ahead and work on the warehouse uh, so this is the structure we are talking about now let's go back to our um, uh, notebook here and uh, we are going to take a look on definitions and uh, i might come back to the some comparisons uh, okay so a warehouse in microsoft fabric is an enterprise scale data warehouse uh, designed for structured data so you need to remember that this is for structured data now fully managed no configuration needed when we create the warehouse we don't have to tell how many cpus what to config storage or you know any other information we have to provide we simply click on a warehouse and it will create the warehouse for us so it's very easy to manage and all so built on uh, built on open uh, delta format in one lake so all the tables whatever we are going to create they are going to be delta tables Full support for T-SQL, so DML, DDL, DQLs, you can write the select queries, you can create table, create the views, create store procedures, you can make update, deletes and everything by using T-SQL, the same way we use in SQL Server. Supports a full uh, multi uh, table transaction. So that's also supports uh, if you are doing some transactions uh, and uh, that will be supported by the warehouse. Now ideal for pro code and no code users. So T-SQL is very easy language. If you are coming as a developer background with the SQL server, you will be feel like home. And even you don't have much coding experience, still it's easy to learn the T-SQL and work with the warehouse. Enterprise grade governance, performance and security. So these features are provided with the warehouse. We will further dig into all these, uh, you know, when we will create uh, the real-time demos uh, on each of the topic. Uh. Now, let's go ahead and uh, make a comparison between a Warehouse and Lake House in Microsoft uh, Fabric. Um, so, here are the feature list uh, and uh, then uh, here is a Warehouse and here is our Lake House uh, with the SQL endpoint. Uh, and uh, I'm kind of going to tell you a little more details whenever I needed uh, uh, to talk about the other uh, parts of uh, such as uh, Spark and all that. Uh, so developer profile, SQL developers, you know, works great with the warehouse, uh, data engineers uh, and SQL devs, uh, they can work with the lake house uh, as well. So data loading, um, you can see, use SQL, you can use the pipelines, you can use data flows when you're loading the data to the warehouse. Uh, here in the lake house uh, when you have to use spark uh, you can use the pipelines and you can use data flows uh, and also you can create the shortcuts uh, and read the data from there uh, and uh, write uh, most of the time uh, what's happening here when you are loading the data into the lake house uh, uh, you will be using uh, spark uh, notebooks uh, you will be not able to use sql uh, at all so there is no way like hey you will be say insert into this table and uh, all that by using sql queries that's not possible in the lake house uh, but uh, with the warehouse uh, you can uh, have full control uh, on the warehouse uh, loading uh, by using a sql uh, you can insert into copy uh, you know data from uh, those are different tables between the across the databases and all those uh, with the using a SQL commands uh, that's uh, possible uh. so that's uh, one of the limitation with what we have with the lake house uh, the SQL uh, cannot be used for the DML or DDL uh. okay so Delta support uh, so reads and writes uh, so this is supported in uh, uh, warehouse um, and uh, also here uh, only via SQL endpoint uh, fully via uh, Spark engine. Uh. So if uh, you are uh, saying uh, the read only uh, via SQL endpoint. Uh. So if you are reading the data from your uh, uh, for those delta tables, uh, that's uh, you can do by using the SQL endpoint. Uh. And uh, let me show you if I'm right here in the one of the lake house uh, and uh, here if I go to lake house here, uh, you can see right here uh, when I open the very first uh, uh, part, it is a selected lake house right here and it has tables and uh, files. Uh, so here you cannot write SQL directly and uh, what you can do, you can open a notebook and uh, then uh, write your uh, PySpark, uh, PySpark SQL, Scala or language to read 
the data under these the delta tables or if you want to read the files you can read those files as well by using on uh, those uh, uh, notebooks uh. now if you select the sql endpoint that is created with the uh, our lake house each time we create a lake house a sql endpoint is uh, created now here uh, in this uh, you see that we have sql uh, uh, analytics endpoint and we can write sql queries here so if i go to tables here and go right here new sql query and uh, then uh, that's uh, i can run this query and uh, select the data from the delta tables uh, under the lake house uh. But the problem is I cannot uh, make any update, delete, insert, anything in these uh, SQL queries. Uh, okay, let's go back to our uh, demo here. And uh, this uh, is explained, read only via SQL endpoint. But if I need to make uh, uh, inserts, updates, deletes, and all that, I can go back uh, in the uh, here and uh, create a, a notebook. So in this case, uh, what I have to do, I have to select the lake house. Uh, I will be creating a notebook here and then inside the notebook I will be able to write uh, all those uh, statements so here are different uh, language you can select uh, to work with those uh, notebooks such as uh, you can use PySpark, Scala, Spark SQL, Spark R and HTML and all that so it is uh, available to you and you can uh, use uh, in the notebook in uh, different cells uh, to whatever the language you want to choose now we go back uh, here and uh, we have understand that uh, we can only read the data by using a SQL endpoint and uh, if we need to make changes uh, to the data we have to use a Spark engine and write the notebook. Uh, now T-SQL support, uh, full DDL, DML and DQL support is there for the warehouse uh, and uh, we have a limited uh, DDL, no DML at all uh, in the SQL endpoint uh, for the lake house. Uh, if I have a warehouse, uh, I can um, create table, drop table, insert data and uh, uh, select data, whatever I want to do. I can do all those things uh, in the warehouse. Uh, but uh, with the lake house, uh, um, I, I have uh, no access uh, to make uh, updates delete and inserts at all uh, but i can do some ddl uh, so data definition languages uh. so let me take you back here and uh, right here if i'm uh, uh, connected with the sql analytics endpoint uh, to one of the lake house uh, and uh, i'm going to show you right here what can be done uh. so if you go to schemas here and you see that we have tables we cannot uh, uh, create table here like uh, with the SQL query or update delete and insert uh, but uh, we have option to create the view here so if I go right here and create new view so there are see few DDLs are supported uh, so not uh, if I go to the functions uh, and uh, here maybe I can create the functions uh, uh, then I have a store procedure here new store procedures uh, so very few items are that I can create in the lake house by using a SQL queries uh, so but otherwise uh, it's not a uh, 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 fully DDLs is not supported in the lake house uh, for me to do through the SQL endpoint. Uh, now use cases, uh, so it is enterprise data warehouse uh, when we are selecting the warehouse uh, and uh, then uh, for the lake house uh, is uh, exploration, uh, medallion architecture. So you have, uh, let's say in the um, right here, uh, you have uh, this uh, lake house, uh, let me take you here. So this lake house you can see right here we have files here so we can uh, have a bronze uh, folder here created and uh, load all the files here then we can create uh, our silver uh, structure right here load those uh, files to the silver structure here and uh, then uh, maybe create the data warehouse and uh, read those uh, uh, silver uh, uh, tables from the silver uh, uh, stage and uh, load to the gold stage uh, to the data warehouse. So this is, can be achieved uh, when we are working with the uh, this uh, lake house uh. for the transaction support uh, warehouse supports uh, the transaction uh, but the, with the lake house uh, uh, sql endpoint uh, there is no transactions uh, available and uh, then uh, tooling support a uh, full the uh, first and third party tools are available uh, we can uh, connect uh, to the warehouse uh, maybe by using uh, let's say ssms uh, uh, power bi you have uh, azure uh, data studio um, you have uh, Microsoft Purview, Fabric Notebooks and all that you can uh, connect to all of that. Uh, now uh, also the third parties such as uh, maybe Tableau, uh, Looker, DBT and uh, JDBC, ODBC based uh, BI tools uh, uh, you want to connect with the warehouse so you can uh, use it here. Uh, now um, one of the limitations I, I will show you. Uh, let's talk about this part first. So limited for SQL endpoint uh, full uh, via Spark Python notebooks. Uh, so that's uh, with the SQL uh, there is uh, some limitations here you know so you will not be able to use with the, all those uh, third party tools uh, but uh, with the, if you are writing notebooks uh, you're fine. Uh, now here uh, one of the example uh, I was working with the data pipeline uh, 
and uh, in the data pipeline uh, when I go to the Azure Data Factory I use copy activity and I can uh, connect with my uh, lake house and uh, then uh, it does not give me the option to write the query even I see the tables are there so in the case uh, you can see right there I have the tables and everything here and uh, the copy activity in the uh, Azure Data Factory or in the fabric uh, does not give me the option to write that uh, a query so let me take you right there if I will go ahead and say new item and uh, go from the uh, data pipeline and uh, what I'm, I was talking about I will show you right there so here you see that uh, this is a copy activity and uh, if I have a go to source here I select uh, the some uh, let's say if I will select a sales lake house uh, no tech browser lake house I want to select that and uh, now if I go right here it is telling me a hey, table or files so it is uh, giving me a list of the tables but it is not giving me the option not to have a, a select query so I'm connected to lake house but with the warehouse if I will be using copy activity I will have the query here so let me open the Azure data factory and show you what I'm talking about so here I am in the Azure data factory and if I go to pipelines here and let me show you the pipeline and go to move and transform and if I will take this copy activity here and go to source here you see that if I'm selecting a SQL source then it is giving me the option to select the table query or store procedure with the lake house if you remember that right here in the copy activity when I selected the lake house it is giving me only option of for tables and files but if I will select the data warehouse here I will have the same options of what I have here that is the my I can uh, uh, select by the uh, table I can uh, select by the query or the use store procedure and all that so this is uh, something uh, I'm, I was saying like there are some limitations and especially with the third party tools uh, you will face that uh, this is one of the feature I didn't like it honestly because uh, if I need to extract uh, uh, some table after joining uh, two tables uh, I cannot join two tables and uh, get get it here you know in the in the, when I'm uh, extracting the data from the lake house uh, so the tables are there yes the great thing uh, like I can see the tables and all they're there so in this case uh, what I have to do I even uh, try to create the view on top of those uh, tables but uh, still the views are not uh, I cannot see the views here they don't display the views here it's only tables so that was the kind of uh, disappointing for me so what you have to do in this, those cases uh, what uh, you will be creating maybe another table loading uh, into that final table and then uh, using the copy activity so there are some limitations you are going to face uh, and uh, those those what I was talking about with the SQL endpoints uh, you are not going to have all those fully functional uh, SQL way of uh, writing your queries or uh, cross databases and all those kind of things are not there okay but with the warehouse uh, you have all those uh, like cross database you have a fully DDL DMLs and uh, DQLs and everything you want to do with the warehouse so that's possible so these are major differences between the warehouse and lake house so depending on these differences you can choose what is needed for your requirement okay so when to choose the warehouse so you will uh, you will uh, be working with structured data only in those cases the warehouse is the right choice for you you need full SQL support such as DML DDL the, and transactions uh, you want to manage your models uh, using a uh, familiar T SQL tools uh, you require multiple uh, table transaction support that's uh, available in the warehouse so you want to analyze structured data at scale uh, with advanced uh, performance uh, so in those uh, all cases uh, you will be selecting the warehouse uh, and uh, when you will not be using the warehouse uh, you will be working with structure plus unstructured data so if you are, have unstructured data uh, that's the lake house uh, you know you're gonna go to the lake house uh, you prefer uh, spark uh, notebooks uh, based workflows uh, if you want uh, and uh, you're good in writing notebooks uh, then you will be working with the, the uh, your uh, lake house uh, you're building a medallion architecture uh, bronze uh, silver and gold stages uh, and uh, this could be starting with the lake house uh, so you will be putting the files uh, uh, under the files tab then you will be creating the silver uh, layer by uh, creating the delta tables under the table tab and uh, then maybe gold uh, this, this is uh, depend upon the different uh, uh, you know solution architectures so if uh, I, I might uh, use the data uh, warehouse and uh, create my gold there and uh, finally tables and everything goes in the warehouse uh, but it depends upon different people some people will be using a, a lake house and uh, different uh, you know 
um, delta tables are there so you know it, it totally depends on so it can be a mix of it you know you will uh, for the bronze and silver you will be using the lake house and then gold you will be going to the warehouse so it depends upon on different people now here's a summary so warehouse uh, full featured uh, sql uh, first enterprise data warehouse uh, that's where uh, you will be using uh, the warehouse uh, if uh, you have need these uh, um, uh, benefits. Uh. Lake House uh, data engineering first uh, for unified uh, analytics um, data lake plus the SQL endpoint. Uh. So for the Lake House, whenever you are going to create the Lake House, uh, it's going to create the SQL endpoint, uh, and you can use that SQL endpoint uh, to read uh, the data. And uh, then uh, you have uh, these all delta tables uh, uh, created, uh, and uh, you know you can uh, use the uh, notebooks uh, to do all different operations uh, in the notebook, uh, such as uh, you will be writing the data, reading the data, uh, in the data updating deleting and all that uh, through the notebook uh, both uh, use the delta format uh, integrated with one lake uh, and supports power bi premium fabric capacity so these are this is a summary i hope uh, this video is helpful to you when you are making a decision um, what is the best solution for you either a warehouse or the uh, lake house uh, and i'm going to create a next video so how to create uh, the warehouse and uh, start working with the warehouse uh, Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.